cool so we got that we spoke about venturing out um i've also want to mention this currently um regarding fuse big up the person that mentioned it to me i forgot your name i do fucking apologize but fuse happened over the weekend or maybe last weekend or maybe a few days ago it doesn't fucking matter you know what i'm talking about so fuse festival happened and it actually happened in a new location in barkinside which is essentially not too far from where i live um i kind of remember going around those ends especially when i used to go to like valentine's park in ilford and shit and i used to work around there sometimes back in the day in the game store back in the day and just go around there in general just trying to pick up girls and shit like some really cringy stuff back in the day but it's pretty cool now to see because I guess there's a dearth and there's a lack of places to go and check out or places to hire. The promoters have to get a bit more creative and go to like far flung quote unquote places. And one of them being Bark Inside now. But I think it's a great place to be because I think in general, the catchment for Fuse, the type of people that go to Fuse parties, I would imagine would live in those ends anyway. What's, what's the thing? I think it's called Wandsworth. No, what? Not Wolverstow. I forgot. What, is it Woodford? That type of area, Barking, Dagnum. Um, Ilford, Romford, you know, maybe Essex far and wide. Like those are easy places for people that live in those areas to kind of commute and come down to Barkingside. And of course they're familiar with that area anyway, Barking, Romford, wherever it may be. Um, especially, you know, it's not too far from where I live as well. And I'm very familiar with that area having grown up where I kind of grew up and shit. But I want to give Fuse a big shout out, right? Even though some of the DJs that play here aren't really to my taste and aren't to my liking, I have to give these guys ratings for the way that they designed the stage and the fucking festival in the first place. Bloody hell. Wow, 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 wow. So I say this because I have a feeling that nowadays, because we have such a dearth of clubs, there's not really much out there anymore. It's the same old spaces, same old way they've been constructed. An actual festival, if you're really involved, if you're really excited about this shit, if you really care about providing good experiences, a festival is a good chance, a good opportunity for really adventurous, really forward thinking, really ballsy, very courageous promoters to really put together a really exclusive, a really special experience. And what a better way to do a special experience than to really have a bespoke and a very creative and very out there design in terms of how you put the festival together. Just put in a stage, you know, just having a stage with a fucking, you know, black sheet over it isn't enough. You have to offer the customer a bit more, especially if they're going to spend a bit of money, especially if they're saving up to come and, you know, enjoy your festival and shit. And just for the experience anyway. And, and sometimes as well for the fucking pictures, because a place like Fuse, part of the reason why you do all this shit is obviously the free marketing of people taking pictures and videos and shit and having a great time. So all that to say, wow, at the design. So what you're looking at, from what I can see here is this really amazing um, design where they have these LED lights and then they have these nice, almost like, uh, they look like steel. I don't think they are steel. They're made to look like steel or concrete bars that run from like one end to the other end that kind of give it this like weird feeling similar to like Junction 2 where you've got like the overpass going over you. So it creates this really nice, almost like a, it almost gives the festival a bit of structure. It kind of makes it feel like a space without having really defined walls blocking you off and stuff, if that makes it any sense. And obviously, I'd imagine when you're there and you're fucking raving and all the lights are going crazy, it must feel fucking amazing. So you have these fucking, again, it feels like something out of the dystopian future. It feels very sci-fi-ish. It almost feels like it's like a spaceship above your head that's about to land on your head or something. It just looks fucking incredible. Speakers hanging up from the top as well. But the design of it, I don't really know what it's meant to be, um, again, um, what it's meant to be... Um, emulating and stuff but the design of it is so fucking cool it's basically how would you describe that letter like a like an l like two l's going from you know facing back to back going from one end to the other end and then obviously on the edge of the l there's all these nice little leds that go fucking crazy so it looks fucking cool really amazing especially that picture here with the trees all over it and shit and again barkerside park from what I remember, isn't that big of a park. It's not as big as other parks within that area anyway. So they had to be really creative, I'd imagine, in how they used the space and how they managed it. And I think they did a really fucking good job. Um, here's another video. I think there's a video, actually, where they kind of show a bit of the work that they did as well. Um, let me pause that. Is that, a vi is that a video playing or whatever? Let me pause that and let me actually take off the music and see what that's saying. <laughs> Also, on the underside, it's actually LED lights on the underside that go off in different fucking colors and shit and different designs. That is so cool. Wow, man. It almost gives it an immersive, 
transformative weird feeling like could you imagine rolling and looking up and seeing all that shit that looks so cool and you know what it kind of reminds me of as well it kind of reminds me of um watergate the club watergate in berlin where they have those like that light bar that goes from like the back to the front that kind of it kind of reminds me of that little bit feeling as well really great design man whoever designed this like honestly you did a fucking amazing job so fucking cool um, let me continue actually and see if there's any more pictures because I love the way it looked. Actually, there's pictures of, let's see the videos of people when they're actually playing because those, those videos are fucking incredible. You guys see what it actually looks like in, you know, in situ, in motion. Wow, wow, wow. This is a video that features live and direct from the installation stage featuring Trauma and Shonky. Shonky fucking house legend, by the way. Um, again, I, I probably should have checked it out, man, because Shonky's fucking incredible to have seen. But let me actually see what Shonky was playing. Look at that. Oh, so they kind of look like screens, don't they? So when you look at them from one side, they kind of look like struck, like really strong, thick structures. But then when you zoom in it, when you look at it from this end here, they almost look like screens that have been made to look a certain way. Whatever, however they did it, I don't know how they did it. It looks fucking incredible. But look at the sea of people. That's such a clever way to do the festival, honestly. Because I guess it allows you to also keep the festival in a confined space, kinda, without having blocked off blocks of walls. And it also allows for great pictures because now you have this amazing, you know, fucking rectangular sea of people just looking at you. Almost like how Kappa Future is. Fuck, man. That's such cool design. Look at that. Wow. That looks so, so, so cool. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Honestly, Fuse fucking smashed it. Killer fucking design. How they put everything together. Um, let's look. Let's check out some more videos here. <laughs> this one is Fuse Open Air Full Swing. More to come as Enzo, Siragusa, Dr. Banana, um, Laid Wall, Close, the Insulation and Monument. <laughs> Fuck Palace, by the way. Fuck Palace, by the way. Oh, bye. That sea of people, man. That looks like it's fun, isn't it? That looks like a fucking well-designed stage. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'd get rid of the sign there. The logo looks a little bit naff there in that regard. But, you know, you got to brand your fucking festival. Fuse fucking killed it. Wow. Big up fucking Fuse. Look at the designer, man. Look at the designer, man. Wow. That's sick. so well designed it's so well put together i would consider going and even though i don't i don't really like tech house too much you know there's still tech house as you know the, the high it's like in every genre edm you know break beats whatever stuff that you don't like drum and bass the best of the best when they play it you're gonna fucking dance so you know they're booking they're booking some of the best djs from that fucking scene to play so for sure it's gonna be a fucking bop i've not heard a bad song so far to be fair oh and it's another stage this is more like in like this looks like a, they're in like some sort of a container or something it still looks sick love it love it love it love it love it who wants to play here look at that wow okay i, I guess that's a set that they were playing at I wonder why they did the why they did the stage that way. The stage on this particular stage is like all these little black black squares and black screens, and you got one hole in the middle. I wonder if this is more to do with the shade because it's out in the open, maybe. But that looks so fun in it. Like this is the thing about London. London can be so terrible, especially during the summer. But when festival season hits, this place fucking lights up, man. Look at all the happy faces and arms everywhere, tops off, people smoking and shit, having a line, couple of flipping pills or whatnot absolutely loving it eyes darting all over the place why not yeah, 
That shit looks fucking fun. What's the next one? Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird stage design, isn't it? I wonder why they did it like that. It looks really odd, isn't it? I wonder why they did it. Maybe these screens are, maybe these are LEDs. Maybe it's shade. Maybe it's just the way they wanted to do it. But it's an interesting design, isn't it? Really odd. Vibes. Yeah, I should have went, man. I should have went. Fucking big up, Fuse. Fuse fucking killed it. Let's actually check one more and then we'll move on. Um, the last one I want to see here, courtesy of this Fuse. Let's see what else they had going on here. Um, I played, which one did I play? I think I played that one, right? Or did I not play that one? Let's do this. Or oh, these are pictures, I think, right? These are all pictures or videos. What are the videos? A surreal summer. What's this? Oh, no. Oh, this is um, Enzo Siragusa who says, A surreal Sunday in East London. Thanks to the incredible East artists and our amazing team and the 7,000 of you who joined us. Exactly. That's the thing. It's in East London, like legit East London. Not fucking Shoreditch and shit. Actual East London. That's the actual cool thing about this. You get to do this like in people's hoods. So some of these people might even still live locally in the area. And now they're kind of, it's coming full circle. It's like you no longer are you having to take fucking 40 quid Ubers or 50 quid Ubers. Like how I used to do back in the day, take the 40 quid Uber or take the fucking N15 or whatever bus home and that. You actually walk into the place or cycling over whatever, like fucking vibes, 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 vibes. That looks like fun. That 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 design of the LEDs, that box, that everything they've got at the front looks, just looks incredible. Whoever did that, bravo, 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 bravo. You deserve all the fucking props. Um, more. These are these are clips. I think. Look how good that looks at night. Look how good this shit looks at night. Wow. It's, it's impressive how unsweaty and clean and well put together Tech House DJs look in it, right? They're all wearing like, you know, they've all got nice fades. I love the different aesthetic differences. They've got nice fades. They've got cool clothes on. They're not sweating one single bit. They're bopping. Everything is chill. Little flick of the wrist and shit. Not as crazy as like, you know, my techno heads, right? Gurning, eyes darting all over the place, stomping from left to right. They just look super chill. Big up these guys, man. Who else is here? Hey. Five. Nice. 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 And I and and the thing is, what well, that's really good about this, I'd wonder too. Similar to like Junction. Because because that Bargain Side Park is kind of like out of out in the middle of nowhere, quote unquote. There's not a lot of like surrounding buildings and stuff and even the flats and stuff in that area are kind of away. You can probably ramp up the noise. There's not a lot of complaints with neighbours. That's the only bullshit thing about having festivals in like trendier parts of East London. Maybe in parts of Hackney and stuff. Because there's loads of residential areas, the laws against fucking noise pollution are super strict. So you're not allowed to put volume up a certain way. Which is why most festivals in those areas are fucking terrible. I can name quite a few of them. I don't want to, you know, begrudge them. But you know the ones I'm talking about. The comments are also really glowing too. Um, people are saying that was special. Front row dancing all day. Absolutely insane. Such a great energy. People wanting the ID on a t-shirt. What is the t-shirt ID actually? What is it? Is it like a thing that they're doing? Um, what are they doing? ID on the t-shirt. No idea. Loving the t-shirt and the hoodie. Who designed it? Is somebody who designed it? What's the ID? ID on the t-shirt? Or maybe, okay, this person, I guess, made it. This person called uh, Mundane Origin. So big up Mundane Origin. ID track, someday that. Yeah, everybody's going fucking crazy. Unreal Day was absolutely perfection. Epic stuff. Congrats, Enzo, and see you soon. So yeah, fucking great results and great verdicts from everyone all around. So great to see. Big up Fuse. From the looks of it, they absolutely killed it. Um, I would absolutely love to go uh, one time, actually, just to go check it out because as much as I don't like Tech House overall, there are some good people out there that play some good shit. So it'd be cool to kind of see that sort of stuff. But so far, um, they've got what? They've got a London event. That's the one I already missed, this one, right? This is on 2nd of the 6th. Yeah, that's already gone. 
The only event here they've got from London, I don't know, they don't, no, no big London events at the moment. Birmingham, Barcelona, they're fucking killing it. Big up Fuse, man. Big up Fuse. Big up Fuse. One of the last kind of like, I won't say last, but one of the OG kind of promoters from back in the day that I remember from like Brick, Brick Lane days that are still around doing fucking bits. So big up fucking Fuse, an absolute institution and they're absolutely killing it and the fans are, seem to be happy with the stuff that they're doing also. So you can't hate. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible to hate. 